I would like to thank the Yarn Academy for this award. It was my pleasure to give you content. Thank you. I would also like to thank all of you. Without you, I would not have been able to hit this milestone. <sighs> it's been a crazy road to get here, um, but we're here! Yay! I guess what that means. Giveaway! Yes! Yes! I am going to be doing a 1,000 subscriber Yarny Family giveaway. <laughs> so, guess what? You need to put your comments down below. You need to subscribe. You need to hit the notification bell and make sure that it's on all. And what else? You need to be 19, um, or you need to be over the age that YouTube seems to think that you can't be, like, <laughs> you can't be a child. <laughs> so, anyways, yes, and then we will do a giveaway. Um, I'm still putting stuff in the box, <laughs> so I can't tell you what's in it. So it's this this giveaway is going to be I think a surprise. I think it's going to be a surprise giveaway. Yeah, mystery box. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. What is in my cup today? I have my no drama llama cup. And today I have pumpkin spice latte. Now, I have a Keurig and I went to Save On Foods yesterday and they have a bulk aisle. And on in that bulk aisle, across from the bulk food, um, they have a bin with all different types of Keurig Pod K-Cup coffees. I've never tried that before. And I thought, eh, what the heck? I hit a thousand subscribers. Let's do it. <laughs> So I grabbed a few different types and one, as soon as I saw the pumpkin spice, I was like, yes, <laughs> I have to have that in my life. <laughs> and I'm so glad I did because it tastes really good. I may not have to go to Starbucks anymore. <laughs> Let me think about that one. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> I still have to go to Starbucks. So here it is. You guys see that? I don't know if you can see that. But it is Markinson, Market, Martinson, there we go, Martinson Pumpkin Spice. So, yeah. Huh, interesting. Did you know? that these K-Cups have two little pieces to them inside. And you can go in there and you can dig out the coffee part and then you can recycle these. I know, it's a lot of work. I haven't done it yet. You know, but just saying that you can, you can recycle these. Now, whether or not you can actually, they will actually recycle them is up to them. But they say you can do that. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to also let you guys know. You probably all already know about Vero, Vero, uh, Vero's Crochet and Knits, or no, uh, Crochet and Gifts, sorry. <laughs> um, she is going to be, let me bring you in just a little bit because you seem so far away. That's better. <laughs> except now you can see my muck. I, I just woke up 
and uh, yeah so I'm a little rough looking this morning anyway um Vero's crochet is doing a uh, raffle for a beautiful Yoda um, I cried when she did her video and it just it was it was a lot to take in um, my sister knows about it she cried she was just so overwhelmed she's so overwhelmed over all of this like she just she sent me the most amazing text yesterday um, when I told her that I hit my 1k and uh, you know like we have this funny relationship where and it's weird it's like the whole family has it it's like we know we love each other but it's really hard for us to say stuff like that um, you know we're a very huggy kissy family but when it comes to saying I love you you know it, it doesn't roll off our tongue all that well <laughs> Um, and I'm sorry, oh, that's an even harder one, but, um, my sister sent me this message and she was telling me how much she loved me and it just, oh, made me cry. She was so amazed and thankful for everything that I did or have done and I'm still doing, um, that she was just absolutely dumbfounded. She just. You know, she, she still is having a really hard time accepting the fact that people from all around the world that don't know her are helping out. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for, for doing that for her. God, I look like a ragamuffin. Um, it just means so, so much to the rest, to, the, to us. Um, and it's just, it shows how much this community is very tight you know and that we care about each and every one of us right um i just i just love this community and i'm never going to leave so get used to me being around <laughs> anyway so vero crochet i've got her link down below go check her out um and go buy a ticket uh jane from scraptastic yarns Jane put out a video as well saying that she is also getting involved and um, I believe she said she's going to be making a bag. Um, I just love her bags. Uh, and she's going to be either selling it or raffling it. I'm not sure which. Um, she hasn't quite clarified any of that yet. But if you're interested, go shoot her an email. I will leave her, um, her link down below. And you can go and check out that video. Also, I got a um, uh, email from CJ at Scrapadapadu. She emailed and emailed and emailed, <laughs> and she was saying that she wants to get involved. So she actually finished uh, a sweater yesterday beautiful sweater it's um, a very lightweight sweater it's like a spring or fall type of um, uh, pullover not pullover um, almost a cardi but not a cardi it's it's like oh I'll insert a picture here um, it is so pretty it really is maybe I won't insert a picture here I'll let her do that. Um, she's going to be doing a video and showing you the beautiful sweater. It's just gorgeous. And she's also going to be doing a raffle for my sister. So, um, so go check her out as well. Um, and again, thank you guys so much for all of your support and love. Um, words thank you just does not seem like enough and I I just don't even know uh, 
I want so badly to give back to you guys and I just I don't know how <laughs> Um, my sister's doing the thank you cards, so I still need the people that have donated. I still need you to shoot me an email at crochetacanada at gmail.com and, <clears throat> excuse me, and give me your address because it means so much to my sister to be able to do these cards and it means so much to my niece to be able to send you, it's a little itty bitty crochet heart and, um, it's on a key a uh, keychain or no it's a stitch marker um, and it means so much to her to do this for you guys so um, yeah I think that's pretty much it I think I'll probably be doing another video soon <sighs> in between you know making all this stuff and whatnot oh um, something I wanted to touch on. I wasn't going to touch on this, but I'm going to anyway. There has been some concern about um, me using the Huga yarn for my sweaters. Uh, and how it washes up and whatnot. I don't want you guys to be concerned. Because it says right on the label you can wash and dry it. And the sweaters that I showed you have already been washed once. The gray hat that I'm... Let me go get it. Okay. So, this is the hat that I always wear on my videos that you guys all say that you really like and whatnot. Okay. This is the yarn. This has been washed probably about four times. Okay. This one I just made last night. And it hasn't been washed yet. It looks the same, doesn't it? Okay. Washed, unwashed. They look exactly the same. The only difference is this one's really loosey-goosey. It's loosened itself up. It flows really nice. This one being new and not washed, it's still a little tight, right? So it needs to relax. I didn't use anything special. Um, and it's not losing its fur. It's, um, it's actually, it, I like it better after it's been washed but it hugs you it's they they should have called it huggy <laughs> because it just oh it feels so good on right so i don't want anybody to be concerned about it okay because it's um i've had no problems with it whatsoever okay i just wanted to throw that out there okay i love you all I love you all. I love you all so, 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 so much. Okay. Um, yeah. So remember, doing the giveaway. Put your comments down below. And it doesn't, you know, doesn't have to be. I'm not going to say, okay, well, you have to comment on this. <laughs> okay. Um, any comment will do. Nicely, please. <laughs> And um, I will do the draw. What should I do the draw? Well, we're doing the um, the other draw on Sunday. Maybe I'll do this one on Sunday too. I don't normally leave my giveaways that long. I usually do it the next day. But... I'd like to, because this is a big one, I'd like to give more people a chance. Okay? So let's do it on Sunday with the other giveaway. Or with the other, with the raffle. Okay? Okay. So Sunday, I don't know the date. I'll put that right here. Uh, and good luck. Good luck. This is going to be so fun. <laughs> okay.
I will talk to you guys later. And uh, I love you all. Okay. Mwah! Mwah, 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 mwah. Okay. Bye. Ow, I just slapped myself in the face. <laughs>